everyone, so today I am doing a very highly requested video, again, I've been doing a lot of requested videos lately. Um, this one here, I was so hesitant to do, because basically the requested video was to show you guys what every single pair of EXO Beauty eyelashes look like on. And if you didn't know before, EXO Beauty is my own brand. So I feel like lots of people are just going to see this as me forcing these down your throat, but that is not how I want to come across. So I thought I would also show you guys how to apply false eyelashes in this video just so everyone can get something out of it, even if you're not interested in purchasing my lashes. If you guys do decide to, thank you so much. Thank you for the support. I hope you guys love them. I've gotten such amazing feedback from my range, so I just thought I would finally do this video because a lot of you guys look online and you don't really know which ones to go for you don't really know what ones will suit you so I'm just going to kind of talk you through each style but first obviously I'm going to show you guys how to apply false eyelashes sorry about my hair today I've got it up in a ponytail because it's having a mirror look at all these little bobbles these lashes here are called the wild ones so I'll show you guys how to apply false lashes with these ones. These ones are like very, very extreme, very dramatic. They look quite scary, like you'd think, oh, they're very unwearable. But I actually love the way they look with any dramatic eyeshadow look. You can see today I've just done a very natural eyeshadow, I mean, yeah, eyeshadow look. Just so that you can really see the lashes. And I haven't got any mascara on my top lashes just so, you know, it doesn't take away from the false eyelashes. Obviously you would normally wear mascara, but I just want you guys to be able to focus on the actual fake eyelashes rather than trying to figure out which ones are real and which ones are fake. So to apply false eyelashes, you need false eyelashes. You need glue, and the three glues I recommend are the Ardell Brush On Adhesive, the Duo Clear, and the Duo Dark Tone. We sell all of these on EXO Beauty if you're wondering where to get it, otherwise you can just Google search and I'm sure you'll find somewhere else that stocks them. I'm going to be using the Ardell Brush On today because this has been my recent favourite. So basically, this is what the wild one looks like in the packet. Very full, very voluminous, and they kind of flare outwards so they give you a really kind of doe-eyed effect. Really, really beautiful. Now as you can see, these ones here have a dark lash band. So these are definitely best worn with eyeliner. However, I'm obviously not wearing eyeliner today. As I said, like my mascara, just so it doesn't, you know, distract you from the actual style. So I would normally wear these with black eyeliner. To take them off the little tray, what you want to do is take the side of your thumb and kind of, this is kind of hard to show you on camera. <laughs> you want to kind of scoop them off like that. You don't want to grab one end and peel them out because they can lose a little bit of shape. If you find you did lose any shape though, you can just take each end and kind of wiggle it like an eye shape just to give it a little bit more curve. This one here is fine though, so you are left with your little lash. So you want to do that to both of them. Boom. Easy. Now the next step before you do any gluing or anything, you want to take the lash and you want to just line it up with your eye. Now they're not going to stick there perfectly, but the aim of this is to check that the length is good. If you have them too long, they will stab you on your inner corner, stab you on your outer corner, they will flick off, they will come off, they will feel uncomfortable, they will irritate your eyes. It sounds very, very scary, but all you have to do to avoid all of that is trim them a little bit. So you basically want to measure the inside where you would like the inside, and then trim from the outside. You don't want to trim from the inside, always trim from the outside. And that's just because if you trim from the inside, you can get a very stark difference where the inside is very, very long, if you know what I mean. Whereas if you trim from the longest side, it won't look crazy and obvious that you're wearing false eyelashes. Not like these are very natural at all, but you get what I mean. So I'm just trimming a very small amount from the outer part with my scissors and everyone will be different. Some people won't even have to trim them at all. Some people have to trim them a lot. It just depends on your eye size. There's no right or wrong. Just get them so that you know they're going to be comfortable. So this is looking perfect now. So the next step is obviously to glue them on. And please remember when I put these on they will look a little bit funny just because I'm not wearing eyeliner. If you want to see um, these in use, just search Shanixo the Wild One on YouTube and a video where I've used these lashes will come up. So I'm using my drip brush blah, 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 brush on adhesive and I flipped the eyelashes upside down in my fingers and then I'm going to apply the glue just to the band. And then just shake them out. This glue here is instant. I can put them on straight away because it's very tacky. If you are using 
one of these glues here you want to put it on a surface and I'm going to link my last false eyelash application video where I use this glue you want to put a little blob on a surface and leave it there for like a good four or five minutes before you try to apply it to your eye and the reason for that is if you just use glue put it on the lash put it on the lash is just going to slide around and not stick and it's going to be so hard to apply they're not going to want to like stay put and as i said this one here is very very speedy it sets like straight away like even now i've probably left it too long so what i do is taking my fingers or tweezers i hold it in the center and then i tilt my head back and look down into a mirror like this so my lashes are like flat and then i come in and put the center down and you can move it a little bit. Once the center's down, I leave it for like, you know, five to ten seconds. Go in with my tweezers and obviously be very careful. You can use your hands, what? Fingers as well, but I just find tweezers are a little bit easier. And then I'm going to take the tweezer and set each end down as well. And then you can take your fingers and kind of squeeze your natural lashes with your false lashes together a little bit. And I would always put on mascara before doing false eyelashes, by the way. And then if you want, you can take eyelash curlers. And I'm not trying to curl my eyelashes. I'm using it very gently just to mush my natural lashes and false lashes together and really get those false lashes as close to my real lashes as possible. You don't want to put the false lashes on your lashes. You want to put it on your eyelid as close to the base of your lashes as possible. So I like to just kind of go like that and it really just smushes everything together. And you can see they look so pretty. Obviously these ones do look better with eyeliner as I said because they have the band which is black. Some of my other ones have clear bands which you'll soon see. But yeah this one has a black band. You can totally wear it like this if you want like there's no rules but if you want to really 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 hide it it is a good idea to wear a little bit of black eyeliner just to camouflage the band a little bit even if it's just the thinnest little line. So I'm going to do the other one for you on camera as well. So again, holding the lash upside down, taking my glue and popping that right across, making sure you get a good amount on each end as well because you'll find that is where your lashes may decide to peel off a little bit. So set it down in the center, just kind of let that simmer for a second. Take your tweezers and I usually go outside first. Make sure that it's nice and set in, and then into my inner corner. And this is how the Wild Run lashes work, or look, I should say. I just think they are so beautiful. Like, I hope you guys see what I mean, like they look so scary when they're off and like online, but when they're on, they're just so feathery and beautiful. Sorry if I look really weird, I'm just trying to show you all the angles, like... <laughs> Here's a little bit of a close-up as well. I hope this is in focus. <laughs> so that's what they look like. And please remember, they usually look a lot better. You can reuse EXO Beauty lashes. Some people reuse them like 12 times. I usually use them about five or six times because I'm not too careful with them. You want to just remove your lashes. And if you're finding them hard to remove, take a really hot flannel. Gross word. Take a really hot flannel. Um, with like warm water. Don't do it too hot. You don't want to burn yourself But just as warm as you can take it and just rest it over your eyes and let it kind of steam the glue And then they will come straight off without pulling any of your natural lashes without hurting Everything they'll be totally fine and then you can just literally peel the glue off Especially if you've steamed them just peel the glue off straight away Kind of bend them a little bit and you can put them back in their little case just to keep the shape next I'm going to do the five pack set which all of these come separately apart from the prima donna so far but eventually we probably will make them separate as well so the very top pair here i call it the glamorista this is what the glamorista look like quite natural quite long perfect for people that just want to amp up the length and add a little bit of glamour to their makeup look i often get questions on like what are good for weddings and things like that these are a good option they're a good option for everyday wear if you like wearing lashes on a daily basis these ones here i have put glue on it but they do have a clear band so you can wear these without any eyeliner or you can wear them with eyeliner if you prefer actually from now on i'm just going to put the lashes on one eye so you can see the difference between natural and false eyelashes 
because I think you get the idea just from looking at one, I hope. Just add a little bit of glam, hence the name, Glamorista. But I personally like to wear these on a daily basis if I feel like it. Like, if I'm just going out for lunch or something, I will still chuck these on because I just think they're so pretty and just add a little bit of glam to your look. But if you are a bride or if you've got prom or anything like that and you want quite natural lashes but you want to, like, you know, still have that glamour and have a little bit of dramatic you know, whatever, I don't even know what I'm saying. Please excuse my lashes if I get any like glue or anything in them because obviously I am doing a lot of gluing today. So just keep that in mind. But that's what they look like there. Next up are the Wanderlust and these ones are super beautiful and full. As you can see they have a very intense crisscross design so they're super wispy and just gorgeous. So that's what that one looks like. It's just very, very like cross hatched and very voluminous and wispy and beautiful. Next up are the Prima Donna and they are just quite kind of spiky looking and thicker on the outer edges. These ones are so beautiful for like doll eyed effects and ugh, I just love them. That's what those ones there look like. They are very very like cat eye-ish. Lots of volume on the outer corner so they look so good with winged eyeliner and stuff like that. Next up are the Gold Digger, which are sort of similar to the Prima Donna, except these ones are thicker in the middle. These are one of my all-time favourites. They just look good with any kind of makeup look at all. That's what those ones there look like. I love these. They make your eyes look really, really big because they kind of emphasise the centre. If you love really full, voluminous lashes, these are for you. Next up, if you love doing a smoky eye, you need these in your life. These are my favourite lashes if I'm doing a smoky eye, full stop. These are phenomenal. They are black and brown. Very subtle though, but it really helps to like bring out your eye colour as well. But just the way they are clustered, as you can see, they're in like little clusters. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are amazing. So that's what they look like on. These are like super thick. So if you love super, super, super thick lashes, these are, the, the, these ones are perfect. And I don't know if you can see like the slight hint of brown. Next up I'll do some more natural ones. These ones here are called the Girl Next Door. And they are super, super natural and kind of like spiky-ish, as you can see. So these lashes in particular are very, very good for A, people with hooded eyelids or not a lot of lid space. You guys may find that sometimes other lashes like touch your eyebrows and they're just too much and just look crazy. These ones will look really, really good on you. And two, just for people that want a really, really natural lash or people that want volume but not so much length or anything like that. I use these for volume. Yeah, I always get people asking me about lashes for hooded eyes, so check these out. Now these definitely look better once I have a bit of mascara on, but you get the idea. They just add so much darkness into the root of my lashes and they just look super thick and amazing. If you have like no natural eyelashes, like really, really short, sparse, wait, is that how you say it? Sparse, sparse, I don't know. If you've got like not many lashes, these are perfect as well. They just help to fill in all the gaps and they look so natural. Next I'll show you the other ones which are perfect for hooded eyes or for the same reasons, like you don't have many eyelashes or you just want volume. I use these in, I think it was my Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial maybe, or maybe it was my Kim Kardashian one. I don't know. But anyway, I use these in one tutorial and they just look amazing. These ones do have a black band so they are better for liner looks, liquid eyeliner. So that's what those ones there look like. These ones give you a little bit more darkness in the root because of the black lash band as well. They're a little bit more wispy than the previous ones. The previous ones are really, really voluminous. These ones are a little bit more wispy on the ends. They look really, really, really natural on people that have very, very short eyelashes. Or again, hooded eyes. Next up are my current favourites probably. These are called the Fangirl. These were named by one of my viewers, so that was really cool. And these ones are just super spiky and quite separated. My lashes are starting to get very messy now because there's glue everywhere. So that's what those ones there look like. They're a little bit thicker on the outer edge, so they give you a little bit more volume and a little, and a little, bit, a little bit of a cat eye effect. And I just love these. I think they're so pretty. They look really, really good with natural eye looks or dramatic eye looks. These are some of my favourite ones. Super, super like, they're kind of wispy. They give you that really pretty length. So that's those ones. And here's a close up. 
Next up, we're going to do the Romantic, which are very, very popular. I would say these are kind of similar to uh, the Glamourista, kind of similar to the Wonderlust. They're just very, very voluminous and quite straight. And if I compare them to the Glamourista quickly for you, the Glamourista is more like clustery. These are the Glamourista, and then these are the Romantic. So hopefully you can see the difference. They are quite similar. The Romantic are probably just a little bit more fluttery and full. And these ones are a little bit more clustery and voluminous. So that's what these ones here look like. Super, super full and fluttery and beautiful. These ones are perfect again for people that just love the natural kind of effect. But fuller voluminous lashes that are a little bit longer. I do prefer these ones with black eyeliner just because they are quite full. But it's down to personal preference. And then the last full strip lashes we have here are called the feline and these ones here are what I use in my bridal tutorial because I think they are perfect for bridal but also prom also anything like that they are so beautiful as you can see they kind of flare out towards the end so they are super cat eye like hence the reason they're called the feline so as you can see the inner corner are quite short and then the outer corner is a lot longer and kind of cat eyed I am obsessed with these I've used them quite a lot in my videos they're just really feminine I feel like they're the most feminine ones out there like perfect for date night perfect for weddings just anything and let's just ignore the fact that this one isn't sticking down properly because I'm not using very much glue obviously I don't want to you know have glue stuck in my eyelashes for the next year. Now the last two pairs are half lashes. Well these ones here are more like, I don't even know, yeah about half to two third lashes. So they don't go all the way across, they really just accentuate the outer corner and add that kind of volume. So these ones here are called the stunner and all you want to do to apply these is just pop them on that outer corner. It's as simple as that. These ones here just add the perfect amount of glamour to the outer corner. Perfect if you just want a really natural kind of effect for prom or something like that or just daily wear. They look so beautiful. You can see how much volume they give and it looks even better once you have mascara on of course. And then the last pair of half lashes where I would probably call these slightly less than half lashes. These are called the flirt and they are about a third. Now these are a favourite of a lot of my friends. Um, they just love these for daily wear just to add a little bit of glam and they do have a black band So do look better with a little bit of eyeliner, but it's not necessary I have worn them without eyeliner tons of times before and then again All you want to do is just line that up with the outer corner and pop it down These ones are a little bit fuller than the last ones and again They don't come so far across your eyes so perfect for small eyes as well you Just add the perfect amount of drama just for every day or if you're not used to wearing false lashes or if you don't like that real intense look, again, hooded eyes or anyone like that, people that don't have many natural lashes, they're just absolutely perfect. Now my eyes are looking absolutely beat up, but that's alright. So yeah, that is all of them. I hope I didn't forget any. Then I'm going to go against everything I just said and put on a little bit of mascara after my lashes just because I already have them on. And I can't be bothered removing and reapplying lashes one more time because that was definitely enough. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which style of my EXO Beauty lashes are your favourite. Just so I can get an idea of what you guys like. And then when I'm developing lashes later on, I know exactly what you guys like to see. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye! And then that is another thin layer. They don't feel thick on your lips either. Like some lip glosses kind of feel quite chunky these feel really really smooth just like the other one perfect for slapping on with any makeup look it's just gonna work it's gonna look good just depends what kind of color you prefer so that's what that one looks like next is more of a mauvey kind of pinky color a little bit more brownish this is in the shade 65 caramel infused oh this one's so pretty this is the one i was least excited about but so far it's my favorite